Hey guys, it's Ring B and I am here today outside because it is a beautiful day and I needed a large surface to show you all these products because it is the 50 shades for the 2023 to 2024 uh, year and so I thought outside sounded way better than inside so my glasses have tinted it's a whole thing and we have a lot a lot to talk about we are back to 50 and this year's color is yellow slash gold so this project is created by Jessica Amanda and Cece with the Pantastic ladies and it goes from April 15th 2023 to April 15th 2024 and with any luck we will have another color and it will be this is its fourth year so it will be five years running but for now let me show you all the yellow gold things that I have put in this project once again I am crazy so if I'm leaning it's because there's a lot of products sitting here the first thing is this suave keratin infusion smooth and shine serum and if i could guess it's like right down here but i can't see through this packaging so i did weigh it at 34.892 grams and so this is the only hair product in here and if you followed me for a while you know i'm not very good at doing hair products and getting them getting them used up I don't do a lot with my hair so we'll see how that goes then we have nail polishes there is one two three four polishes and we'll start here these two have gold lids that is where the yellow comes in and they are very full both of them are up at the top of the bottle so I think those two will go nicely colored with other products in project pans then we have this color girl nail nail slicks in the color lemon freeze and this one is also pretty full it is way up here but then the last one is the sally hansen hard as nails in the color dazzling this is just a gold glitter top coat and it is down here so hopefully that one at least gets done fairly quickly in this project let me come over here and scroll we then are going to move into makeup things the first thing is this winky Lux uni brow pencil and it is brand new in the packaging i've never used it and it has got that much product in it and if i remember right i've panned one of these before I like it but it does go quickly so I'm hoping that I can get this one done and then move back to the brow pomade that is in another project so that one that one's never gonna die so we'll get through this one and then I think that would be the only one that's left then you've seen it before the angel eyes primer the eyeshadow primer and it is right there I didn't mark this one I marked everything else and missed this one but it is right there and I will mark it when we're done and it is got gold it has got gold writing on it and that is where the gold comes in for that one then we are on to the Rimmel exaggerate precious gold eyeliner and there is the littlest amount left in here so it is time to just get this used up and hopefully it is the give me product amongst this these 50 products then we have another eyeliner this is the melt gel liner in cultura it is an ultra matte gel liner and this one there is a lot in here so i'm going to set a usage goal of 24 uses so once every other week twice a month basically and so we will get some usage on that but I won't be pressured to try and get through it as fast as I can then we are into some lip products so let me reach over everything else here so this first one is the Dominique Cosmetics in lemonade lip gloss the logos are gold the writing is gold on here and this is the lemonade lip gloss and i love this i've panned one of these before 
and talked about how much I loved it and then my best friend didn't necessarily love hers so she gave me hers so I have another one and I want to use this before it goes bad because this is like my favorite lip gloss when I have no more lip glosses this will probably be what I repurchase <clears throat> then this one is an Avon smooth minerals SPF lip gloss and it is in the color I can't read it but it is this pink color once again the writing on the packaging is gold and we will work through that one I did weigh all these let me let me tell you about this last one it's the Too Faced Mermaid Tears if you watched my green you just watched me show you the finale of that and this one is right there and weighed with the lid on this time it is at 26.33 grams the smooth minerals by Avon is at 25.61 grams and the Dominique cosmetics is at 29.542 grams so quite a bit of product in especially these two and we'll, we'll see where we get in here so then we'll move on this is the Revlon Photo Ready Sunlit Dream. You can see the yellow on the packaging here. And I'm counting each of these shades as one. If you can hear that, my neighbors, everybody's working in the yard. It's beautiful. Each of these as one product in this project. So this is four products, and I want to use each of these colors once a month. So 12 uses per pan. And I'm pretty sure these three I can use as highlighter. This one is pretty dark, and so this may end up being an eyeshadow topper and even blend it out. It's hard to see. I'm, I'm washed out with the outdoor light, but it's a beautiful day. I'm not going back inside. Then we will move on to the Beauty, Beauty Basics Bronze Essentials. Once again, golden writing on the packaging and this is what it looks like this broke and I did mix it all together as one there we go as one shade and this one I want to use once a week so lots of usage goals this time around guys because there's some some big products going on this time so 52 uses on this it is just a beautiful like bronzer and I really enjoyed this last time it was in a project, but I know it'll be too much to use up even in a year. So we will do usage on that. More we are using up, and if I haven't set a usage, I want to use it up. So first, the Ulta SPF setting spray. It's, I have a mark here. I don't know where it's at. Feeling it, it's still somewhere around up here. So. There's quite a bit in that, but I'm hoping I use this. You hear that chicken? Come here, chicken. So, should I be that YouTuber and show you guys a chicken? So, anyways, so that will be something I hope to use in the summer. Then another easy one, the makeup remover wipe. This is like some hotel thing that arrived at my house somehow. So this is just a diamond wipes gentle cleansing makeup remover wipe with vitamin e so just one little wipe but hopefully that is another give me product i need a few with how many are in here and then we have the skin and co truffle therapy essential face toner so it's a it's gold packaging as you can see it is a face toner and i marked it here but this I cannot leave on my face. I have very sensitive skin, and so what I do with this is actually remove my makeup and then wash my face and wash this off because it's not suitable for my skin. And then, another thing you just saw, the Freeman Clay Mask in Mint and Lemon. It is down to here this was a year's progress last year so maybe i can get more than that this year heck maybe i'll use it up but we know how that works so maybe if i can get more than this amount i will call it good on this 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 year 
Moving on, we then have a bunch of sheet masks, which I do way better at. So first, this is a Karuna Hydrating Face Mask uh, for dry, dull, and dehydrated skin. So there is gold in this packaging. Then I have two of these Global Beauty Gold Face Masks. These are just sheet masks, like dollar store sheet masks. And then I have two of these Suns Out Pouts Out Gold Foiled Lip Masks. So that is the face products. Let me scroll some more. Then I have these two. It is the Mary Kay Satin Lips. This is the Sugar Scrub and this is the Lip Balm and you are supposed to exfoliate your lips and then use the balm and both of these packagings have broken so i just want to use them and get them out of here so that they don't leak everywhere then the other lip moist moisturizing thing is this co bigelow lemon lip cream and it is right here i like this it's old so I'm not sure if it even exists anymore, but if you can find it, it's a nice product. So then into perfumes, first is this Lady Stetson. It is hanging out right there for starters and an Avon Instincts perfume, which is right here at this line. And to go with that is the Avon, In Avon Instincts lotion as well, sitting right there. And then we get into a bunch of lotions so next is the skin so soft summer revitalizing body spray lotion this one feels like it's down here a ways but i can't see through this packaging i will try under my big lights next month and see if i can't mark it but for now i cannot see through the packaging then another avon this is avon naturals lemon blossom and basil juicy moisture hand and body lotion this one's pretty full it is up here so a ways to go on that but if you've been watching me you know i go through a lot of lotion we have pretty harsh winters up here and so come come winter these will fly so then i have the dr c tuna calendula oil hand cream and it is sitting right here so just a little bit to go in that one so let's get it used up then another one that has just some this is the vaseline intensive care essential healing lotion and it is right about there and i think this is one of those you go somewhere you forget a lotion you buy a little thing of it and then once you get home it just sits so I'm working through a lot of that kind of stuff in projects right now so then the final lotion is this true moringa shea and moringa balm moisturizing balm for hands and body and this one is completely unopened so hi can I help you then moving on we have these three pharmacopoeia this one is the body lotion and then we have the shampoo and conditioner so, hi hi there's a chicken right here behind my computer and then i have three eco amenities shampoos left from before and these are yellow in color the product itself so we will see if we can work through those three then we have a couple of body washes first is this poppy by bath and body works moisturizing you can see the gold trim around all of this as well as the hot spring spa same thing they have the gold trim then we have three bath bomb type products first this one is supposed to be a shower bomb and you can see the yellow mixed in with the blue here and then two actual bath bomb bath bombs uh, first this pineapple one with the yellow mixed in and this moon charm one and this moon is like gold glitter so that is what that is looking at and then the last two the first is the joy dish soap and then this moisturizing conditioner from meyer both are used for cleaning brushes so if i put these in here maybe i will clean brushes more but we will we will find out now i'm going to try 
and catch this chicken and show you this cool chip. All right, so since we're being so distracting, here's our distracting girl. This is Jay, Jay Chicken, Jay Bird, as we call her. And she is this beautiful lady who likes to scream when you haven't run past any activity happening in the yard. So she thinks she's the boss around here. But that is our Jay Chicken. And she's a sweetheart, but she likes to scream. So there it is. That's everything for the 50 shades of gold slash yellow, yellow slash gold for the coming year. I hope you'll stick around, check out my progress. Maybe next time there won't be chickens distracting me. Check out the other fantastic ladies in this collab. Until the next time, I will talk to you all later. I did not pre-approve this, this activity with her, so she's going to scream about it. I'm being, I'm being attacked, guys. They're, all the chickens are on the porch now.